Today, we've got more exciting news for the Samsung Galaxy S24 series, including news of an early launch. Let me know in the comments who out there is waiting for the Galaxy S24, and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech. So first up, we've got more confirmation that the Galaxy S24 Ultra is going to feature a new titanium frame. And of course, we had the Apple event a couple of days ago, which showed new iPhones with titanium frames. Phone manufacturers tend to follow the same path and use the same materials for the flagships. And titanium not only looks and feels better, but it's also stronger and more durable while also being a lighter metal. So all in all, a good improvement. And while titanium is going to protect the outside, for those of you that want to protect the software, we've got today's video sponsor, the Trend Micro Premium Security Suite. The Premium Security Suite offers complete security protection to protect your devices and your identity for when you're at home and also when you're out on the go. Hacking is at an all-time high and you're now in danger of cybercrime and hacking on your phone as well as your computers. And Premium Security Suite is here to help with protection against malware, viruses, ransomware and other threats. My favorite feature is the VPN to not only protect your privacy, but it can also keep your data secure and encrypted over public Wi-Fi networks. We get ID security and a password manager to securely store all of your passwords, as well as a personal help desk for all of your technical questions. Now, the suite is available to protect all of your devices with apps on Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, and Chromebooks. And of course, the link is down in the description below. And you can also use the discount code TTTechnology10 to get an extra 10% off. So go ahead and check it out now. Next up, we've got news of an early launch, and it's looking like we'll see the S24 in January 2024 instead of the usual February launch. Now, mass production of the S24 series is set to start in November, whereas normally this happens in December. So a month earlier for mass production points to a month earlier for launch. Now, we've also got news that the Galaxy Ring is going to be launched at this event, and it's essentially a fitness tracker for your finger. And according to Ice Universe, this is going to be one of the star products. Now, next up, we've got the specs listed for the Galaxy S24 Ultra thanks to Yogesh Bra on Twitter. And according to his tweet, it's a 6.8 inch display with the titanium frame we just discussed. Of course, we get the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, and thankfully, it's going to be for all models in all regions. He says that we get a 200 megapixel plus 12 megapixel plus 50 plus 10 megapixel camera setup, along with a 12 megapixel selfie camera. And he says it's all powered by a 5000 mAh battery with 45 watt fast charging, and it runs at One UI 6 based on Android 14. While it's going to be another 200 megapixel primary camera, it is an upgraded sensor. And Ice Universe tweeted to advise that we'll be seeing the 200 megapixel HP 2SX sensor in the Ultra. And put in simple terms, it's an improved version of the HP 2 we've got in the current Ultra. It's a 1 over 1.3 inch sensor with 0.6 micrometer pixels, so it's not the 1 inch sensor we were hoping for, but hopefully we still get some great improvements to photography. Now we've also got a tweet from It's Nyang on Twitter, and he disagrees with Yogesh Bra, and he says that we're getting a 48 megapixel with 5 times zoom, and then to confuse things even further, Ice Universe says it's a 50 megapixel camera with a 3 times lens, but of course a couple of megapixels isn't going to make a difference to photo quality and only the max resolution. Now next up, we got a tweet from Revegnus, and he advises that the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra is going to come with an option for 2 terabyte of storage, and he's certain that the 256 gig models are going to have 12 gigs of RAM, but he says that there's also a possibility of a 128 gig model with 8 gigabytes of RAM. Now, for those of you excited for the Galaxy S24 series, though, we're now going to run through the full specs, design, and the pricing to help you guys decide which one is right for you. For my regular viewers, you guys have seen this, so just skip to the next video. But if you're new here, then hit subscribe now, and we'll get right into it. Now, the standard Galaxy S24 is coming with a 6.1-inch 120Hz dynamic AMOLED display. We get a resolution of 2340 by 1080 and it's going to be using Samsung's new M13 OLED panels protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 2. We get a 12 megapixel punch hole camera for the selfies, then on the rear it's a 50 megapixel primary camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide and a 10 megapixel telephoto. And of course it's going to be powered up by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in South Korea and USA, while European users are going to be getting the Exynos 2400. We get 12 gigabytes of RAM and a choice of 256 or 512 gig storage, and this is going to be a UFS 4.1. 
It comes with a 3,900 mAh battery, and while fast charging is still unknown, we're hoping to see an upgrade to something like 40 watts, but we do know that we're getting 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. Now, it's coming with One UI 6 based on Android 14, and it's expected to launch from about $850 to $900, and that's going to be in February 2024. Now, next up, we've got the Galaxy S24 Plus with a 6.7-inch 120Hz dynamic AMOLED display. We get an upgraded Quad HD Plus resolution of 3120 by 1440 and it's going to be using Samsung's new M13 OLED panel and again protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 2. We get a 12-megapixel punch hole camera for the selfies, then on the rear, again, it's a 50-megapixel primary, a 12-megapixel ultrawide and a 10-megapixel telephoto. It's going to be powered up by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in South Korea and USA. And again, Europe users are going to get the Exynos 2400. And again, we get 12 gigabytes of RAM and then the choice of 256 or 512 storage, which will be UFS 4.1. It comes with a 4,700 milliamp hour battery, and while fast charging again is unknown, we're hoping to see an upgrade to something like 40 watts, and again, we get 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. It's coming with One UI 6 based on Android 14, and it's expected to launch from about $1,050. Now finally, we've got the most premium, the Galaxy S24 Ultra. And with the S24 Ultra, we've got a 6.8-inch 120Hz dynamic AMOLED display. It's got a resolution of 3088 by 1440 and again, it's using Samsung's new M13 OLED panel, protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 2. We get a 12 megapixel punch hole camera for the selfies, then on the rear it's a 200 megapixel primary camera, a 12 megapixel ultrawide, we get a 50 megapixel 3x telephoto as well as a 10 megapixel telephoto with 10x optical zoom. Despite previous rumors, it's going to be powered up by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in all regions and it's only the S24 and the S24 Plus that are still going to be using the Exynos. And with the S24 Ultra, we get 16GB of RAM with up to 1TB of storage and of course, it's UFS 4.1. It comes with a 5,000 mAh battery, and while fast charging is still unknown, when it comes to the Ultra, we're hoping for an upgrade of something closer to 60 watts, and we're also going to get 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. Now, it's coming with One UI 6 based on Android 14, and it's expected to launch from $1,250. So overall, the Samsung Galaxy S24 is focusing on improving the hardware and the user experience, although we do get some big changes to the S24 and the S24 Plus with a new design. And then of course, for the Ultra, we get a new titanium frame. Now it's probably not going to make anyone with the S23 series rush for an upgrade, but for anyone with a much older S phone or looking to get their first S phone, it's looking like a great choice. Now as soon as any more news comes in, I'm going to be sharing it straight away. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing in the future.